Jacob bought a scooter for a certain sum of money. He spent 10% of the cost on repairs and sold the scooter for a profit of 1100 rupees. How much did he spend on repairs if he made a profit of 20%? Well, let us consider that Jacob bought this scooter for X rupees. So the cost price is equal to X rupees, isn't it? Now he spent 10% of the cost on repairs. So this extra amount he spent on the repairs will be added to the cost price of the scooter, isn't it? So the cost price will be the amount which he bought the scooter for, which is X, plus the amount he spent on repairs. And the amount he spent on repairs is 10% of the amount which he bought the scooter for. So plus 10 upon 100 times X, which is the amount he bought it for. So this is equivalent to 110X upon 100. So we have the cost price is equals to 11X upon 100. 10. So some more data is given in this question. The profit is 1100 rupees. So P is equals to 1100. And we also know the profit percentage. So P percentage is equals to 20%. Isn't it? And we know the formula for profit percent. So P percent is equals to the profit upon the cost price times 100. So the profit percentage is 20, it is equals to 1100 divided by the cost price which is 11x by 10. So 11x by 10 times 100. So this is equivalent to 11x by 10 goes to the left. So what's left is 20 into 11x by 10 is equals to 1100 times 100. So this 0 and this 0 gets cancelled out. Therefore, x is equals to 1100 times 100 divided by 2 into 11. So 11 times 100 is 1100 and 2 times 50 is 100. So x is equals to 5000 rupees. So the price at which this person bought the scooter is 5000 rupees. So the amount he spent on repairs is what which is asked. So he spent 10% of the amount on repairs. So we want 10% of X. That is the amount he spent on repairs. So this is equal to 10 upon 100 times 5000. So this is equal to 500 rupees is the amount that he spent on repairs. So option C is the right answer. When a plot is sold for rupees 18,700, the owner loses 15 percent. At what price must the plot be sold in order to gain 15 percent? Okay, the selling price of this plot is 18,700. So 18,700 is equal to the cost price minus 15 percent of the cost price because the owner is losing 15 percent of the cost price when it is sold at 18,700. So the cost price minus 15 upon 100, the cost price. So I can write 18,700 is equals to 100 CP minus 15 CP is 85 CP, 85 by 100 of the cost price. Next, we have to find out the selling price in order to have a profit of 15%, not a loss of 15%. So Next we have, let's say the selling price is X rupees. So X is equal to, again the cost price is going to be same. So cost price, now this time we have a profit of 15%. So plus 15 upon 100, the cost price. So X is equals to 115 CP by 100. Now what I can do is we have equation 1 and we have equation 2. Equation 1 divided by equation 2. So the left hand sides are 18,700 by x is equals to the right hand sides are 85 CP by 100 divided by 115 CP by 100. So the cost prices get cancelled out, hundreds get cancelled out. So this is equivalent to 18700 upon x is equal to 85 
by 115. So therefore x is equal to 18,700 times 115 by 85. Now 5 times 17 is 85 and 5 times 21 is 115. Now if I divide 18,700 by 17 I get 1100. So x is equals to 1100 times 21 and that is equals to 25,300. So our answer is option number C. A fruit seller sells mangoes at the rate of 9 rupees per kg and thereby loses 20%. At what price per kg he should have sold them to make a profit of 5%? Well, at first the selling price when he loses 20% is 9. So I can write 9 is equal to he is losing 20% of the cost price. So 100 minus 20% of the cost price. So I can write 9 is equal to 100 minus 20 is 80% of CP. So 80 upon 100 CP. Now, what is the selling price? if he wants to make a profit of 5% at the same cost price. So let us say that this selling price be x. So x is equals to, in this case, he's, he wants to make a profit of 5%. So 5% increase on the cost price. So 100 plus 5% of the cost price. So x is equals to 105% of cost price. So I have two equations. I can divide equation 1 by equation 2. We have x by 9 is equals to 105 CP upon 100 divided by 80 CP the cost price upon 100. The cost price get cancelled out 100 get cancelled out. So what remains is x is equals to 105 by 80 times 9. So this is equal to I can divide 80 and 105 by 5, so 5 times 16 is 80 and 5 times 21 is 9. So 21 times 9 divided by 16 is equal to 11.81. So our answer is option A. The ratio of the cost price and the selling price is given, which is 4 is to 5. The profit percent is. Well, we have been given CP by SP, which is 4 by 5, right? Now we have to calculate the profit percentage. Well, we know the formula for selling price. Selling price is some percentage increase in the cost price. And that percentage is the profit percentage. So cost price plus increase in the cost price by some percentage and that is the profit. So P percent of cost price. So selling price is equal to if I take the cost price common CP 1 plus P by 100. So I can write SP by CP is equals to this is 100 plus P by 100. From this CP by SP is 4 by 5 so SP by CP is 5 by 4. So SP by CP is 5 by 4 equals to 100 plus P by 100. So this is equivalent to, I can take the 100 to the left and 4 to the right. So 500 is equals to 400 plus 4p. So therefore, p is equals to 500 minus 400 is 100 by this 4. So therefore, p is equals to 25%, which is the profit percentage. Option C.